show you how to make a very simplistic PVC pipe storage unit. And you might want to use these, for example, you might have some silver, you might have some gold ammunition. Uh, this will even hold something like a 1022 or a disassembled pistol. And you might put it underground. You might dig a hole and store it there just for an emergency. Uh, you could also buy these in 6 inch um, and you might put some food in there as well. Here's the components you need. Um, I bought a 4 inch, 4 foot piece of PVC. That's this component right here. Bought an end cap. This is the threaded end cap. And that will go on this end here. Bought the top for the threaded end cap. That will go in here. Bought a closed end cap. Once again, not threaded, but closed, and it'll go on this, the one end. The other components you'll need is a PVC cleaner. The reason I'm doing this, I normally don't use this cleaner, but because it's going to be stored either underground or in another place, uh, in, in a well, actually I'm going to store mine in a well, um, I'm going to make sure it's done right. The multi-purpose cement, the sandpaper, which I'll use for roughing up the PVC as well as getting rid of any burrs, a rag just to make sure everything is clean and then silicone. When this whole unit is assembled correctly I'm going to be storing this in a well at an undisclosed location. I'm going to make sure I put silicone around everything. All the parts and components anywhere there's a joint I'm going to use the silicone. Alright let's get to making this. Alright you know what all the parts are now we're going to go ahead and make our PVC storage and you can see I'm getting the burrs off right there just taking sandpaper around the outer edges as well as the inner edges to make sure it's nice and smooth now what I'm also doing is I'm kind of roughing the outside up and if I'm talking to myself don't worry about it actually my buddy's standing there next to me so I'm not as crazy as you think I might be alright got the edges about ready to go what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a cleaner on and it's a methyl ethyl ketone cleaner be careful highly flammable so don't smoke near this and it just makes sure it's nice and clean so that it get a good fit together Next, I'm going to put some cement on it, and I'm sorry, cleaner. And you want to clean both parts, the outside of the PVC pipe as well as the inside of the cap. That's what I'm doing there. There's the glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting glue on both the outside of the PVC pipe as well as the inside of the cap. And that you want to do that so you make sure that you get a nice, tight fit on both components because this is for me this is going to go in a well um, in a water storage unit a well it holds water and you can see there I'm pressing on the cap and getting a good fit there you go and here I'm doing it all over again but in high speed I'm doing the other side as well I'm cleaning it putting the cleaner on which is that methyl ethyl ketone uh, here I am I'm going to put the glue on I think that's what I'm doing there I'm going so fast I can't tell and putting a lot of glue on to make sure it's nice and clean putting some glue on the inside of the uh, other end cap that's the one with a threaded end as you can see and there we go I put it all together and putting a lot of pressure on it now at this stage I'm putting on um, the silicone because it's dry and I'm putting silicone all around that um, where the two edges meet to make sure that no water gets in there in your case it might be dirt others it might be rain whatever the reason you do not want any water or dirt to get in there all right, so she's all done. You let her dry. Zion Prepper saying, I appreciate you watching, and now you can make your own storage.